Scorpio, what's good? What's good with all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my sexy powerful Scorpios? I hope everyone, all of my BFFs, and all the Scorpio collectives out there is doing well. So you guys, right now I'm running a special on my love readings. They're only $25, and my twin flame reading are $35, okay? So if you're interested in a reading, my information will be in the description box below. So let's get into this spread and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio. If anything happen to resonate with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. I want to say hello to all of my BFFs, okay? Anyone that's new, welcome to my channel. Anyone that's returning, if you have not subscribed, if I keep resonating with you, you like these messages, then hey, become a part of the family, all right? So let's get into it with Scorpio and see what it is that you need to know. All right, so the first card we have is New Partner. A chance meeting is no mistake, okay? So, Scorpio, you're about to be blessed with someone new. And you meeting this person, ain't no chance. Ain't no mistake that you met this person or you guys cross paths, okay? It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. So, some of you have been praying. You've been manifesting to meet someone new, okay? And so, the divine has come together and they're divinely orchestrated for you and someone to cross paths. Now, Spirit is saying, pay attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So this is someone, Scorpio, that's going to be very familiar, okay? So I'm getting the energy of a past life. So whoever this person you will be crossing paths with, this is someone that you've had a past life relationship, okay? You connected with this person. You've had a relationship in your past life, okay? So this could be someone who's reincarnated. Who's coming in and set some shit in motion for you? Now we have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love. Okay, so I feel like Scorpio, you are a light worker. And as a light worker, you're supposed to share dark in the you're supposed to share light in those dark places, okay? Which means possibly revealing things to other people. Okay, this means that some of you guys could be readers. Okay, maybe you're healers in a way, but you're a light worker. You're here to heal the earth, but you're also to here to shed light up on these dark times and dark places. We got justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Like I said, you can use discernment here to bring justice, to give people fair outcomes, to give them the information that their heart so desperately or desires to know here. All right. So I feel like, Scorpio, a lot of you guys are about to be blessed with this new partner because you've done a lot of inner child healing. So what this means is that you recognize that some parts of your childhood, Scorpio, just like mine, wasn't that great. But also those experiences that we had in our childhood, whether that shit was good or bad, also molded us into the adults that we are today. So if you had a good childhood, pretty, you know, Probably was a pretty well level headed person, okay? If you had an effed up childhood, Scorpio, you probably struggled through life. You probably struggled with relationships, you struggled with love, you struggled with different things here, but it was all a part of your inner child needing to be healed, okay? A lot of us have an inner child. It's like, Scorpio, it's, it's so crazy doing these readings and stuff now. Like, even in my own relationship, like, I've had to tell my boo, like, he has some inner child issues that need to be healed as well and it's like i'm able to see things like even as we talk and he reveals more and more to himself i'm able to see how being traumatized going through things as a child really traumatized you and really molds you into the person that you become okay there's a lot of adults running around here with a lot of inner child that needs to be healed and i feel like that's why you're being blessed with this new partner because shit you've done the work 
you done what it takes to love yourself. When, when in order to heal the inner child, you must love yourself. You must nurture yourself. And first, you gotta acknowledge that you even need healing. Okay, a lot of us don't even want to acknowledge. A lot of people don't want to acknowledge that there is some type of inner child. That the inner child needs healing. That traumatic experience they had as a child really fucked them up. You know, but a lot of people don't want to admit that. They just want to carry on through life and act like you know, put on the rose color glasses and shit, child. And act like you know. Everything all peaches and cream when it's really not, Scorpio. I know been guilty of that. I know some of you guys can agree and say you've been guilty as well. You know, but it's that's all a part of learning and growing. As you learn and grow, then you start to realize, okay, yeah, I was fucked up at some point in time in my life. And it maybe it has to do with this. You know, a lot of people want to play the blame game. You know, we've all experienced stuff, they want to blame everybody else. At one point in time, yeah. It was that person's fault, but you gotta eventually point that finger back at yourself and be like, "Yeah, that was that person's fault." But am I continuing to live through this pain and shit? Okay. We have alchemy. I feel like as you start to heal your inner child, you start to become very, very powerful. I'm picking up that empress energy. Okay, you became very powerful and a magician, and you became very magical. I feel like you realized that you had magical powers almost in a sense. You know, I feel like a lot of your moves, everything that you do, you're guided by your ancestors. I feel like you have a high connection, a very strong connection to source, your spirit guides, but also your ancestors. Some of you guys, you got a spirit team that work around the clock to protect you and to make sure all of your dreams, all of your goals, everything in life, Scorpio, comes true because you did the work. When you don't do the work, Scorpio, shit don't go well for you, okay? But when you choose to do the work, now that don't mean everything going to change within a snap of his fingers, but in the long run, you will see the difference here. Trust me, I can tell you, I'm a living testimony to this shit. I feel like you're very, look, look at this. I ain't even, like I said, I see the cars, but I don't be seeing them. I just go step by step. I feel like that you start to take action in your life, okay? And action means that you start to do those things. You start to take the, the necessary steps, you know, to heal yourself. And I feel like you start to attract a lot of things, a lot of opportunities in your life. Okay, you hot like fire, baby. Okay, and you're attracting any and everything that you want. I feel like it's because of the action that you took in the past here, okay? Now, for some of you guys, because you've healed your inner child, this new partner that you're going to get, Scorpio, was going to bring you a lot of stability okay i feel like this is someone that you're going to be able to grow and learn together and build a firm foundation you see this person got a wedding ring on okay some of you guys you can be getting engaged you can have a home life with this person you're going to build a family and they're going to give you that commitment that you deserve and that you desire scorpio y'all see this damn man y'all so mad i want to spend how much this shit was on sale i think it was five dollars it really was ten and it was on sale for five and this was been some type of no chip Tight knit thing down part of Scorpio, no chip my ass. Look at this. This look like chip to me. And it just be this one dog on finger. It be these two fingers. I guess the ones I use a lot. I don't know. I just happen to know that the Scorpio when I be showing y'all the cards. I see my fingers here. Okay, so my bad. Y'all know we random as fuck. All right, back to the read. So I feel like Scorpio, this family, this person is gonna bring you a lot of stability. You could be seeing four, four, four. Okay, this person is going to bring you this stability. You and this person can be creating a home life, a home dynamic, which means you can be moving in together. This person is going to give you that co commitment, that equal give and take, Scorpio. This shit going to trigger some damn body. Okay, this is going to cause a conflict within somebody. Okay, some type of inner turmoil is going to go on. And somebody in here is going to want to stop your happily ever after message. <laughs> somebody going to want to stop that happily ever after, Scorpio. So we want, I pulled on this new love, this new partner that's going to be coming into your life. And I want to see, you know, what was going to happen. What's going on in this connection, okay? So we have, I want you to be happy, even if that means being without me. So someone, I feel like Scorpio, I'm talking to some twins here. Some of us on the twin flame journey, we decided we didn't want our damn twin. You know, we want the spirit to bless us with somebody new. Some of us on the twin flame journey, it doesn't mind waiting for our twin to get it together. Hey, it's whatever you want, Scorpio, you can have whatever you like. But somebody here feels like Scorpio, they can't give you what you want and what you deserve, okay? This is somebody who I feel like just been bullshitting around, taking their time. And so that's why you meeting this new person, it's not going to be a mistake that you met them, okay? This is going to be divinely orchestrated here because somebody here i feel like gave the divine the permission to be like i just don't think i got what it takes 
to make Scorpio truly happy. And so it was like they basically gave Spirit the permission to bless you with somebody else. So basically Spirit saw this person wasn't getting that shit together. And that's why it's being divinely orchestrated for you to meet someone new. Okay, and for some of you, this is going to set that fire up under somebody's ass to get that shit together. All right, this new part of Scorpio, so many things is going to remind you of them. It's going to be crazy. Because remember, Scorpio, this is going to be someone you are recognizing for your sense of familiarity, which means this person is going to be very familiar to you. It's going to be kind of like you've known this person before. It's kind of like as you talk and you get to, you know, bond with this person and shit, you're going to realize, like, either you have a lot of common, you know, or maybe, you know, you're going to be like, huh, I feel like I'd have known you before. Like, we met in another lifetime. You are the angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me. Yes. And you know why you are able to heal and nurture somebody else, Scorpio? Because you are able to heal and nurture yourself. See, some of us, when you hear about soulmates and other people, you just think this. And this was me too, Scorpio. I thought this new person, you know, was going to be somebody all wrapped in this perfect package and everything was going to go all swell. Hell no. Even with my, my soulmate now, we still got challenges. We still got stuff to learn. But I feel like it's that two of cups. Where these experiences, these challenges, these things that we go through together is we can learn from that shit. And it's going to help us grow and build that firm foundation together. You know what I'm saying? Because both people have to be willing. And that's the difference this time. I got somebody who's willing, you know what I'm saying, to do those things with me. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be blessed to do that as well. But the thing is, you're going to be someone who has healed. You may receive somebody who has not healed their inner child. So you may receive somebody who is unhealed. But I feel like they're still going to be better than your past. This is somebody who, even though they're not healed, they're going to be willing to work on themselves, to be that man or woman that you need them to be. That's what I'm understanding. See, a lot of times we be mistaken and we think, you know, oh, this new person going to be this and then they're just going to be everything. Not saying they can't be that, but it may not start off that shit to begin with. You hear what I'm saying? Scorpio, this person is going to love sleeping next to you because remember, some of you guys are going to build a home. You're going to have a family dynamic. You're going to build a family. You're going to have a love and commitment with this person, baby. They're going to love cuddling next to your ass every night, Scorpio. You bring out the best in this person. Because remember, you came into this life to heal this person, okay? It was divinely orchestrated that you and this new person meet. Now, this is to be somebody new that you're going to meet in the future. Some of you, you've already met this person. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to help heal this person. And you're going to bring out the best in this person. They're going to feel like, Scorpio, they're a better person because they met you. They're a better person, Scorpio, because they had you in their life. You know what I'm saying? You inspired this person. And they feel more optimistic and full of life because of you. Now, we have love language affirmations. Okay, so this is someone who's going to speak to you. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel, okay? And with this yellow, they're going to have the willpower. They're going to have the courage to express themselves. Because remember, this is somebody that's going to be intimate with you okay they're going to feel like you're their safe place and vice versa you can be intimate with this person y'all can have those intimate conversations and not worry about you know everybody knowing y'all business and all this type shit okay they're going to let you know and make you feel like you are worthy because i feel like in the past scorpio we dealt with people that made us feel like we weren't worth you know having that love that we so truly desired here okay because we were dealing with people scorpio that didn't know their worth here okay i feel like a lot of us had to deal on our Heal from our inner child or someone here is healing because they dealt with people because it made them feel worthy, okay? And this is something that someone here has to heal. They have to realize that being in a relationship, being with someone doesn't prove your worth, okay? You're still worth all of that and more without that person. Now, I feel like with this new love, Scorpio, you're going to have to let go of the past and what happened between you and the ex or somebody from your past. Because I feel like right now, a lot of us, including me, are still holding on to things that happen to happen in your past, and it makes it very hard for new love, for you to receive this love if you're still holding on to the past because this person maybe desires you. Now, some of you, this could be your divine counterpart we're talking about, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, and there's going to be a burning desire between you and this partner, Scorpio, because they're going to be everything that you want and desire, and you're going to be everything and they want and desire and more, okay? All right, now, so I want to pull from the answer in timing because we know that there is going to be a chance meeting between you and someone new, okay? You meeting this person, Scorpio, this is not going to be a fluke. 
Okay, it won't be a mistake that you met this person, Holy Spirit. So can you clarify this new person and tell me when Scorpio could be meeting someone new? Because you're about to meet someone new, Scorpio. Oh, I see March. I see March's change is coming. March is on the bottom of the date now. So let's see. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about new partner. When is this new person going to be entering my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio's life? Okay, some of you guys still need to forgive your past person, okay? That's a part of you letting go of the past. You still haven't forgiven them for what they've done, and that's why you haven't experienced new love yet, okay? Messages for Scorpio. Tell us about new partner, Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay. For some of you, you can meet this person at night. And Scorpio, we got February. Okay, so some of you could be meeting someone before the end of this month. It's over with her. If this don't take place this February, Scorpio, it can happen next. Okay, this can happen around the holidays. So some, of you may, some of you guys, maybe you met someone maybe around um, Valentine's Day or President's Day, whatever holiday. All right, Spirit is saying it will get better with time, but you must let go of the past. If you're wanting this new love, Scorpio, you got to let go of the past here. Because some of you guys will no longer be waiting. So that means it's going to happen real soon. So somebody here in my Scorpio collective is going to be meeting someone before the end of this one is over with. That's what I'm feeling. And we only got, what, two more days? Ooh, look at this. I split the deck. And we got within the next seven days. I can't make this shit up. Y'all see me split that day, right? I can't make this shit up, Scorpio. Within the next seven days, some of you guys could be meeting someone new, okay? And it's not going to be a mistake that you and this person cross paths because it's going to be divinely orchestrated. So let's get the sign. Who is this reading about? All right. We got Sag, Heavy Sag, Leo, Capricorn. We got Heavy Gemini, Cancer Sag. We got Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Okay, so these could be signs that you could be meeting here. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.